three things you need to do before entering any trade. What's going on, y'all? Hope y'all had a great day, evening, or afternoon, depending on where you're at. By the way, let me know in the comments where y'all from. It's your boy Playmaker Way with the playbook, and y'all read the title. Three things you need to do before entering any trade. Now, if this is your first time on the channel, welcome. I appreciate you giving this video a chance. Make sure to hit that bell and sub button because we don't just post weekly content like this, but we also live stream and live trade every day, London session 3 a.m. EST on this very same channel. We also have a free signal free telegram. It's the first link in the description. This is how we did last month, October. We caught a total of 157,608 pips, 125,674 strictly with the members in the advanced place signal room. End of the month 32.5, giving us an 86% win rate. Now this is how we did last quarter. July, we went 34 wins, three losses. August, we took 45 wins, seven losses. And in September, we took 27 wins, four losses. Catching 105,389 pips July, 219,708 pips in August, and 16,634 pips in September. Giving us a total of 341,731 pips caught, 323,385 strictly with the members in the advanced play signal room. In the quarter, 106 wins, 14 losses, giving us an 88% win rate. Every trade posted has the date, the time the trade was posted, my personal entry, SL, TPs, how many people viewed or entered the trade, reactions, and of course those TPs getting hit. So make sure to go ahead and check that out. Now let's get straight into this video. So let's go into number one. Number one is you need to identify the trend. Now again, there's a lot of videos where people talk about trend lines. You know, this might be certain patterns y'all understand, but you actually need to understand how to identify the trend. A trend line isn't helping you identify the trend. Patterns, like, you know, when people be talking about like, I don't even know, like rising trapezoid or angry triangle, whatever the case may be, that's not going to tell you the trend. That is just one piece of the puzzle. You need to see the full picture. That way you understand what's going on. That's why a lot of times, let me ask you this. Do you ever find yourself in the situation by using these shortcuts? You might know when to enter a trade, but then while you're in a trade, you're confused. You might become liquidity, you might fall for fake outs, this, that, and the third. The reason why these issues are arising and happening is for that exact reason, because you're not properly identifying the trend. I have tons of trade breakdowns on my channel, as well as a playlist a back to back to back to back over 50 plus trade breakdowns that i personally taken as well as i broken down live as well as in the free telegram so the reason why you want to do it on at least a daily time frame is because that's how price moves price moves on a day by day week by week month by month basis so a lot of times when i talk to my members or students when we're, um, they're confused about what's going on ask them a few things and that's the first thing i ask what are you looking at where what time frame are you looking at why did you take that buy why did you take that sell and of course, I go over this in the course and all that stuff as well. So once you identify the trend, that brings us into step number two. Wait, no, scratch that. Right. So we identify the trend. You want to then go with the trend. Right. I know that sounds crazy, but you have to understand what we're doing here. We are not gambling. Trading isn't gambling. A lot of people are just gambling on the markets. What we're doing has a risk, but it's not per se risky. Because everything has a risk in life, right? You walk outside your door right now, you can trip and fall, you can bust your knee, looking like Peter Griffin. You know what I'm saying? A bird could sh um, poop on your forehead. You know what I'm saying? You could, you could buy ice cream right now. And there's a risk of you stick your hand out the drive through window that when they hand you the ice cream, you could miss or you could not get a good grip on it. It could fall. But do you still take that risk by sticking your hand out the window instead of going in person and picking it up? Of course. All right. So there's a risk in everything you take. So you cannot be in a fear mindset. You can't be fear based. And that's where a lot of people find themselves. And, and when it comes to trade, they come, they come in a fear mindset. And it's because of truly not understanding what's going on. When you truly understand and have confidence in what's taking place on the charts, then a lot of that fear and issues and problems you have disappear. Trust me, I'm speaking from experience. 
right? So price moves on a day by day, week by week, month by month basis. So that's why you need to identify the trend on the daily time frame. The smaller time frames only tell you and show you what price is doing at that exact moment, which is why you try to identify the trend on a smaller time frame. You get caught in those fake outs and liquidity sweeps. So that then brings us into number two. You want to enter buys off support and you want to enter sells off resistance. This is super, super, super important. So you see here, I have my zone, my key price levels marked up. And you can see, again, I do update these every week, but you can see even these levels, which was a whole month ago, how I enter always off of one of these levels and my exits are also off one of these levels. And if you take a closer look, like when I zoom in, you can also see that when price hits these levels, it kind of helps give me that boost or we see these reactions when price hits these levels, right? So we combine this with number one, identifying the trend. And then on top of that, you enter a sell in this case off a resistance level. Not only do you have the momentum of price going in your favor, but you also have this exact, just look right here. Actually, I could show you better than I can tell you. So I'm going to bar replay and just watch this. I just want you to watch how price reacts to these levels. Look at that. Boom. I don't know if y'all can really see that. So let me zoom in for you. Cause I don't know if y'all can truly see what I'm talking about right here. Look at how each time price hits this level and bounces. Right, look again, hit the level rejected. Right, look how reactive we hit this level. right look at that again not a coincidence you cannot tell me this is random you can't tell me there's a coincidence in the market so when you trade off these levels you get this momentum and push going in your favor same thing when we go for buys look right here entered off this level boom beautiful nice one to seven huge reward setup so in this case, that means whatever I risked, I made seven times that amount. So for example, I risked a hundred bucks, I made $700. If I risked a thousand dollars, I made $7,000 off this one trade alone. And again, without fail, you're always gonna see me enter trades off these levels. If you don't understand how support resistance or supply demand works, make sure to watch this video that just popped up on the screen it's very 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 important there's a lot of stuff that price does that if you use to your advantage can help you out but if you don't know what's going on they become disadvantages that's the main difference between advantages and disadvantages if you know about them and are aware about them and how you use them and then that brings us into number three you need to check your risk to reward and more importantly you need to have a take profit and stop loss again if this is you do not take this personal we've all been there but i cannot tell you how many times i be live and i'm glad because again this is why i go live to help y'all solve these problems have a much easier experience in the beginning of y'all's trading journey than i did because those that don't know all the stuff i'm teaching you i had to learn on my own and what i really wanted just like a lot of y'all, when y'all first started trading, there's somebody that's there to try to help y'all. So that's why I make all these videos. That's why I go live so y'all can see how it really is realistically behind the scenes. Instead of me just making an eight, 10 minute video of me breaking down a trade, you get to see before, during, after in the whole process. So before you enter a trade, you need to know where you're going. You need to have an exit plan for when price goes your way and when price doesn't go your way. You need to have a TP and an SL. And on top of that, you need to make sure that it's a good risk to reward. I always recommend going for a one to two to one to three risk to reward setup. The reason why I recommend that is because you want to make sure that the investment is worth it because that's what we're doing at the end of the day. We're, we're investing our money, right? So if I'm risking a thousand dollars and the most I can make off a trade is 300 bucks. Does that sound like a good risk reward? Does that sound like a good investment? Does that sound like I should enter that trade and take that risk? No. Versus if I'm risking a thousand bucks, I could potentially make two thousand or three thousand dollars. That's more of an attractive setup to me. So at least I'm making if it goes my in my favor more than what I'm risking. You get what I'm saying? And if it doesn't go to the final TP, it goes halfway. I'm at least making what I'm risking. If y'all enjoyed this video, make sure to like, share, subscribe, comment down below any questions, comments, concerns you may have. 
Make sure to hit that first link in the description from the free signal free telegram. If you're interested in learning how I mark up these levels, identify these zones, or you're interested in my signal room or my mentorship programs, hit those links in the description. But before you make a decision, let me tell you a little bit about those details. So the advanced place signal room, we trade Tokyo session exclusively with the members. We trade London session and then New York. Just like the Sunday chart analysis I drop in the free signal room, I drop one every day during New York session called the New York price watch list. This is where I go over the trades we took during Tokyo session, London session, and possible sales going into New York. I don't just say we're looking for buys or looking for sales. I explain why we're looking for buys, why we're looking for sales. And then I take it a step further and go over key price points to look for entries and exits on. As you can see here, I call this signal. You see, I'm walking y'all through what's going on with the trades we're in. I'm giving y'all updates to what I talked about in the New York price watch list. And then of course you see me showing y'all screenshots to visually show y'all what's going on behind the scenes or what I see on my end behind the scenes. All right, we also have exclusive live streams that we go live during New York news events at least twice a week. And just like the London session lives, if you missed the live, they're recorded and posted in here so you can watch them when you get a chance. You have access to over 500 videos of daily chart analysis and weekly live streams. And in fact, you have access to even the ones last year in 2022. Then there's also the pinned messages like the account size key, the student and member group chat, and much more. Now, I also have the course, of course. The course doesn't just teach you my trading strategy. It also teaches you how to read the charts because that's what I teach y'all. You saw I had no indicators, no trend lines. It's simply just market flow and trading and entering and exiting off key price levels. Now, all the stuff that I just went over, you get access to all that stuff in the course channel. So that way, not only do you have the step-by-step -step playbook of how to look and read any chart at all times, but you have ongoing chart analysis, ongoing education for life. Now I also have one-on-one -on -one sessions. One-on-one -on -one sessions also comes with access to the advanced place signal room and the student member group chat. That way you can earn while you learn, but then you also get two sessions a week that are recorded an hour long, but you also get two sessions a week that are recorded in an hour long and they're sent to you the same day. And those are yours to keep for life. See y'all the next time I'm live or next time I post a video. Peace, we out.